Nutrition in Animals Part 1 Learning Objectives 1. To understand what is digestion 2. To understand digestive process in human beings 3. To understand the journey of food from chewing to the stomach Hello friends, how are all of you? On seeing me, I'm sure your mouth has started watering. I am the king of fruits, mango. I am indeed tasty, but I'm very nutritious too. My friends like apple, oranges, green vegetables, dal, chapati, milk and I help to keep all of you healthy. But do you know that how are we digested? From tasting to digesting, we travel through a lot of parts of the digestive system. Come, let us understand the process of digestion with the help of this video. Mother, mother, I'm very hungry. The day in the school was hectic. We played and studied a lot. Please give something to eat soon. Yes, mother. We really got tired today. Like vehicles need petrol to run fast, we will get energy from the food. Wait for some time children, I shall bring your food. Till then, eat this apple. Yes, today our science teacher was telling us that fruits, green vegetables, milk is very important for our nutrition. Is it? Please make Sonu also understand. He does not eat fruits, isn't it Sonu? Friends, it is very important to eat fruits to be healthy. All of you should eat at least 3 to 4 fruits every day. Do you know Sonu, our teacher was telling us that we need a balanced diet. It should contain all the nutrients in appropriate amount including water and roughage. Do you know, the food that we eat cannot be digested in that form. Hence, it is converted to simpler form. How? This process is known as digestion. Here children, eat your food. Wow mother, this chutney is so delicious. Our tongue is so clever. It senses the different tastes easily like sweet, sour, bitter. Yes, you are right. Like when we think about gold gappas, our mouth instantly starts watering. There are taste buds for different taste on our tongue. Because of which, we can sense the different tastes. There is a salivary gland which secretes saliva. It mixes with the food and helps to make it soft and helps us to gulp it easily. How is my taste friends? Sometimes sweet, sometimes sour. We gulp the food like this and then it travels to our stomach and gives us energy. Digestion is an easy process. No, Sonu, the process of digestion involves a long way. It begins with the buccal cavity till the anus. It is known as the alimentary canal. What all parts are there in the alimentary canal? Come, Sonu, let us draw a picture. I will tell you about the process of digestion through it. I have a test tomorrow about the same. It will help me revise too. Look here. The food we eat passes through this long tube which is known as the food pipe or the esophagus and reaches our stomach. The stomach and the various glands associated with the canal like the salivary gland, liver and pancreas help in secreting digestive juices. Come, now let us look at what happens to food in the various parts of the alimentary canal. 
the process of taking the food into the body is known as digestion. Didi, there are 36 teeth in our mouth which help us to bite food into smaller pieces. You are right, Sonu. We have different types of teeth which have different functions. Yes, look Didi, these front teeth and the back teeth have different shapes. Yes, Sonu. Look at this picture that I have made showing different types of teeth. Wow! This is a very important information. Didi, sometimes when we eat food, we get hiccups and we also cough at times. Shall I tell you another interesting thing, friends? Do you remember? That few years back, your teeth had started to fall because the first set of teeth are your milk teeth, which usually fall by the age of 8. The new set of teeth which come in place of them are permanent teeth. Let me tell you Sonu, when we eat food quickly or talk while eating, like you do, the food enters our windpipe, which is the reason we get hiccups and cough. Hmm, now I shall be careful not to talk while eating food. Didi, what happens in the stomach after that? The stomach is like a bag. It is the widest part of the alimentary canal. It is joined with the esophagus at one side and opens into the small intestine on the other. What happens in the small intestine? Let us first understand what happens in the stomach. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juices. The digestive juices break down protein and fat into simpler substances. The acid kills the bacteria which enter with the food. It also makes the medium in the stomach acidic which helps the digestive juices to act. The food is completely changed till it reaches the stomach. The food passes through a lot of parts ahead. Didi, please tell me, where does the food go after the stomach? Sonu, I will tell you about the journey of the food from the stomach to the other parts in the evening. Let us rest for some time now. So friends, the food we eat passes through the alimentary canal. We have to pass through a long journey from ingestion to digestion. We learned through this video about the journey of food from the mouth to the stomach. Animals Part 2 Learning Objectives 1. To understand which other parts of the alimentary canal does the food pass from. 2. To understand what happens to the food in the small intestine. 3. To understand the difference between the small intestine and the large intestine. Hello friends, how are all of you? In the last video, we saw with Sonu and Meena about the digestive system in human beings. We had learnt about the journey of food from the mouth to the stomach. With the help of this video, let us learn about the journey of food from the stomach to the other parts in the digestive system. Didi, it is evening now. You had said that you will tell me about the journey of food from the stomach. Yes, Sonu. Let me bring the drawing I was drawing to help you learn. First, okay, you first tell me 
What do you remember? The process of taking food inside is known as ingestion. The food we eat passes through the esophagus and reaches our stomach. The lining of the stomach secretes digestive juices, hydrochloric acid and mucus to break down complex food particles into simpler food particles. Very good Sanu, you remember everything. Bring the drawing that I was drawing to help you learn. The food reaches the small intestine from the stomach. The small intestine is about 7.5 meter and it is a coiled tube like structure. It receives juices like bile from the liver and pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Seven point five meter, such a long intestine. Didi, my stomach is so small. How does such a long tube fit inside it? Friends, did you know the length of the small intestine is seven point five meter? Yes, that is true. It can coil like a rope, and hence it fits in easily. Do you know, Sonu? The liver is the largest gland in our body. It secretes bile juice. Bile plays an important role in digestion of fats. Is the liver close to the small intestine? It is situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. Look here. And pancreas is of a slight yellow color. It secretes pancreatic juice which helps in the digestion of carbohydrates and proteins. And where is the pancreas? The pancreas is situated right below the stomach. Look here. Now the partly digested food reaches the lower part of the small intestine. Here the digestive juices complete the digestion of the components of food. Look, I have written down in this list about the breakdown of different components of food into their simpler forms. We can see that carbohydrates break down to form glucose, fats to fatty acids and proteins to amino acids. The digestion is not less than any work in a factory. There is so much that the food we eat goes through. I used to think that we eat food. It reaches our stomach and the process of digestion is over. Did you all also think like Sonu? Sonu, there are still two parts where the food will travel to complete the digestion process. Do you know Sonu? The food is digested and absorbed in the small intestine. Absorption? How does that happen? The digested food passes through the blood vessels in the small intestine. This process is known as absorption. There are a lot of blood vessels in the small intestine. There are thousands of fingers like projections in the inner walls of the small intestine. Look at this picture in my science book. These are called villi. Why are these villi like fingers? It is written in my book that these finger like projections increase the surface area of the food to be digested. The absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to the different organs of the body. Okay, so now that the food is absorbed, we get energy from it. In the cells, glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released. Okay, so now digestion and absorption have taken place. 
So is the digestion now over? No, Sonu. The food that is left undigested and unabsorbed enters the large intestine. The large intestine is wider and shorter as compared to the small intestine. The length of the large intestine is 1.5 meter. What? 1.5 meter and the length of the small intestine is 7.5 meter. Then why it is called the large intestine? Because the diameter of the large intestine is two times bigger than that of the small intestine. Oh, now I understand. Now the undigested food enters the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs water from the undigested food. The remaining waste passes into the rectum. The fecal matter is removed from the anus from time to time. This is known as excretion. It is such a long process. I'm really amazed, Didi. Now, whenever I eat something, I will remember how food passes through different parts and gives us energy. Yes, Sonu, you are right. And while explaining it to you. I have revised the chapter for tomorrow's test. Now you should come first in the test tomorrow. Now I am also prepared to give the test. Didi, you explained to me about the digestion in human beings. But how does digestion take place in animals like cow etc? This is a very nice question, Sonu. I shall ask my teacher tomorrow. So friends, I hope that you all have learnt about the journey of food from the stomach to the large intestine. Isn't it a long journey of food? In the next video, we shall find out about the answer to the question that Sonu asked. We shall meet soon.